All right, welcome back everyone. We are on episode two of this little let's play and first look of The Sims 4. And I'm just going to start off from where we left. Uh, I just loaded it and uh, we left off kind of waiting to go to work. Um, we left off with this great looking empty house with our bed and very, very limited amenities. But our goal is to change that as we make some more money. It's $25 just doesn't buy too much. So I have a few more hours on my other characters. I played maybe about five to six hours um, outside of this person right here. And I'll kind of go over the things I found to be a little bit annoying or disappointing as we go through this episode. And I'm going to try to keep these episodes short, about 15 minutes. That way you can watch them a lot easier and you don't have to dedicate a lot of time. So I'm going to speed us up a little bit and take care of some of these things. So far all the animations and all that I think are good. Um, a lot of the issues I have are with a few random things that I think are missing. One of those, which I will show right now, is if we go into kitchen here. Sorry, I remember. There we go. There's one major appliance missing, surprisingly. And if you would guess, it's probably a dishwasher. And yeah, I can't find one. And I've tried typing it in. And there's nothing. So that, I thought that was incredibly strange that they would leave out something as simple as that. I can understand kind of leaving out toddlers or even swimming pools a little bit. But to leave out one of the most basic appliances in the kitchen is a little bit weird so that's really the biggest thing I don't know maybe I'm griping a little bit too much on that but I'm shocked they didn't put dishwashers in and then I guess I'll talk about the other thing while we wait here let's speed up let's see is there's no garages this time that I could see um, we're in The Sims 3 where you could have a vehicle that I thought it was kind of cool. I didn't use it all that much, but it's still something I thought was that was kind of important. Um, so there's no vehicles, no garages. Let me double check here. Yeah, I don't see anything. So it's another thing that I wish they had. Um, again, not game ruining, but one of the small details that I think they really missed out on. Okay, let's go to bed. We gotta go to work at 10 a.m. And then I get well. Let's see. I'll I'll stick to three things. So we have the dishwasher, the garages, and then I'll show you when we go to work. The one kind of tweak in the game I don't understand at all. All right. A few hours here. We'll make some breakfast, some scrambled eggs. My goal is hopefully get some sort of computer or television the first day, but I don't know if we're going to have enough for that. First day after work, that is. Maybe a chair. That might be helpful. And we'll go over right here. All right. Well, it's great that we don't have. Let's go talk to somebody. It's great we don't have anything to do. It's a friendly introduction here. Uh -huh. yes. See if maybe we can learn noosh, something. Noosh. <laughs> Hates children. I agree. No, don't run away. <laughs> the only thing we have to do. Okay. It's fine. We'll just go to our nice empty house. Oh, maybe we can grab her and talk to her. No. No, don't run away. Oh, my, these people. Ah, here's somebody. We'll force her to stop. 
Lamina Galpa Watini. Teepable Mel. New lips. That's a rip. Shush. Ah. Duped on a changle. Boona, boona, Let's boona, try boona, it scaring. Boona. Maybe she'll enjoy it. She'll think it's <laughs> yeah. funny. Ooh. Cause I'm quink. Not even phased. Not even. Hey, leash. Wow. How rude. We're just trying to have some fun. Uh, let's. I don't know. Just gotta waste some time. Oh, we got. Everybody in the neighborhood now. And we're also gonna work on our workout a little bit and see if we can get rid of that. God, everybody's here. Alright, time for work. Alright, here is the weird... Okay, let's stop talking. The weird game decision, the way it plays out that I just don't understand. So we're at work now in Sims 3. Um, Demand refund. Let's, I'll calm her down. Let's see what we got from that. Pause it for a second. We had a little bit of a performance game in doing that. Okay, so when I do this, I cannot click on any of these over here. Sims 3 allowed you to. At least it allowed you to, you know, you could go through and look at everything, you know, see what the friends were, um, what status they were in, you know, how the job was going. But I literally just have to sit here, which I think is incredibly, a, just a terribly bad choice for them to make. And then sometimes you'll be at work and you'll be um, tense and it'll like light up over here, but you can't click it, which why would you even tell me if I can't click on it? So hopefully they'll allow these to be open. Maybe they'll patch that. But I would like to just be able to flip through the menus as I'm sitting here waiting for myself to get back from work, you know, from like 10 to 7. I think the later jobs in the uh, tech field get so we have $290 let's have a quick meal so we don't spend any money and see if we can buy a computer or something I think it's 800 for a computer if I remember correctly yeah okay we can buy the cheap TV which is works for me. So we have to stand and watch it. So we can't afford a chair again. Let's see, we do work tomorrow. So maybe we might go out and chat with people to waste some time today. Where we're not standing around and admiring our cherry wood floors. We are focused too. Interesting. No. Okay, that's a great looking walk. Okay, let's go somewhere. Let's go to the gym. That's actually a good idea. Maybe. There we go. Let's see if we can meet anybody over here, make some friends, work out at the same time. One thing I do like is you can multitask a lot easier in this game. So if we had a TV and a couch, I can actually tell the sim to watch TV and then give him a command to go eat and he'll grab the food and sit down and watch TV. Which is nice so that you can do those at the same time like most people would. Okay, let's talk. Actually, let's work out a little bit and we'll see if we can get into a conversation while we're working out. Ah, 
And there we go. I believe we're talking to... Who is this? No. Interesting. Uh -huh. Who that is? I have no idea. I wonder if we can chat across the room. No, nope, we gotta walk. But yeah, there we go, multitasking. And if we can get the skill point. Okay, please don't don't show off there. Alright, maybe Maybe we'll go home and Take a shower. No, just go home. They do tend to like, or tend to uh, put whatever they want to do a lot in front of you and see where can go home. Which I can understand at some points, but it can get a little frustrating that you tell them to do something and they, re they, uh, God, what's that word? Um, insist. Yes, they insist on. Um, taking a shower and using the toilet, whatever. All right, so we need to get ready for work tomorrow and do all this fun stuff and go to bed and let's see and right here it shows you kind of what you need for your promotion unlike the sims 3 you actually have to fulfill um, these little requirements well you know that that might be a lie I think in sims 3 you had to fill the requirements although I thought you could get promoted if your performance was still good enough in some circumstances. But like I said in the last video, it's been a while, so... Eventually we can get to bed, there we go. And get up at, I don't know, we'll see, but hopefully by 6 p or 6 a.m. And another thing I think they're missing, well, it might be no, yeah, they don't show you what time they're going to get up. Um, I did enjoy The Sims 3 where you had the little um, icon up here that you could drag. You know, sleep until f um, fully rested. And it would give you a time. Um, I don't know why it ho hovering over your character or the thing won't give you a time. I think that was incredibly useful. So, breakfast it is. we don't burn down the house. Yay! Make good old BLTs. Good, we have zero fun going to work. That's just gonna end out end up great. And there we go. See it's lighted like hey look, you need need something but you can't click it and you could still uh, change your work status to work hard which is good and you'll notice this mood changes a lot especially if something breaks in your house because you go into the um, uncomfortable mood I think it's called it can get kind of annoying because you're going from uncomfortable, you go to another room, you're fine, and then happy, and it, it's constantly changing. Not really sure if it's an annoyance yet, but definitely something that might become a problem later on. Uh. 
And to satisfy this, we have to buy. Well, I plan on buying a computer to satisfy it. I'm sure there's other ways we can do it, but my goal is a computer, which it might also make sense to sell something. I don't know. We don't have a lot of stuff. Okay. Let's see. Let's watch something different. Let's watch cooking. I'm really sure why it doesn't change it automatically, but... I would love to play an instrument if we had one. Okay, what are we eating? Cereal? Yeah. Good call. Let's clean up. Okay, I guess, guess we're going to bed. Guess I don't really have an option. And I... That's one thing I've never understood from The Sims is why... When they're sleeping and you do your own action, it overrides out automatically. I think it makes more sense to just have them continue sleeping. That's one time I wouldn't mind where it doesn't force them to do what you want. God, we are... A hungry, hungry hippo. Let's cook some eggs and toast. And then we'll take a shower. We should be ready for work. We're not going to have enough time. Dang it. Should be going at 10, correct? Yep. So you guys see how we're going between the moods for... Some re oh, because we're hungry. That makes sense. Go shower. Hurry. And off to work again. So... Oh... Hide up. You should respond in the chat regards or pretend. Oh, you might as well begin chat. Are you weird? Good. I noticed another thing a lot of those little scenarios, Sims 3 was more. There wasn't an obvious choice, but on here, that's pretty obvious which one to choose. I enjoyed the more randomness of the Sims 3 where you kind of didn't know what was the correct option. But so far, I've only gotten ones that are. Pretty cut and dry. And back to work at our fantastic looking house. Let's see, what do we need? Actually, good. We might go out and do something. Maybe we'll go to uh, the club. Actually, let's travel to uh, Oasis Springs, the other kind of neighborhood, and we'll go to the bar. and try to meet some people, make some friends. Then we'll head back home and that'll be the end of the episode. All right. Let's go dance. Let's get our dance on. No, okay. We'll just dance alone. Sit down and talk to all these people. Oh, it's uh, another one of my characters I have. Okay, you can stop with the dancing. Go be social. And we'll brighten her day. Why not? Oh, well, we're all wearing green. Uh, maybe compliment. Talk about food. Because that's how you make friends. You talk about food. 
Sawani Junga in a sleeve. Yes, bro. Joe. Oh, I saw a get to know too. Dang it. Prita Flimabor? Huh? Huh? Blah, 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 blah. Funny image. That's, uh, do an impression. <laughs> what does she want? Oh, okay. All right, we gotta go home. We got work tomorrow. Get home. Sure, we're hungry. Yep, surprise, we're hungry. So fairly uneventful few days here. Hopefully in the next episode we get some promotions once we get some money and get a computer and and work on those traits that we need. And let's just wrap this up by going and getting ready for tomorrow. Let's have some fish tacos. And then looks like we can go to bed. Alright, thanks for watching episode 2. Again, if you have any questions about the game or any suggestions of what I should do, go ahead and leave it in the, in the comments below. I will definitely be checking those. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that if you want. That way you can follow along as we go through this. See you all next time.